So one of the biggest questions I've seen throughout the whole entire lifespan of my life is the iPhone App Store versus Google Play Store. This kind of stems from the whole iPhone versus Android kind of situation we've seen for so many years now. And the thing I would definitely tell you, when it comes down to these two devices, there's not really one that's necessarily better. Although I did kind of put in my title and phrase the question, which one is the better one? It really comes down to which particular ecosystem you like. From what I have understand and what I've seen throughout my whole entire lifespan is that there are some features and advantages of the iPhone App Store being better than the Google Play Store and vice versa. There's been many times the Play Store is better than the App Store. Now, the first thing I want to kind of get out of the way is that both these manufacturers, you know, both these app stores are developed from very, very big major companies, Google and Apple. So because of that, they're not purposely trying to go through and put malware or viruses on their particular app stores. There's been a few cases of where, you know, the Apple App Store has had some like crazy, you know, maybe not maybe like malware type of applications on their app store, but it is very few far in between. I will say the Google Play Store can be more riddled with a lot more of these types of applications. And this is kind of what ends up happening for the most part. When you're looking at all these different app stores, there's always going to be bad actors and issues going on for all of them. But from what I've seen, you definitely are pretty much getting, I would say, more of, the, more of those like kind of crazier applications sometimes on the Google Play Store, but it isn't really like the biggest deal in the world either. That's just kind of one thing to keep in mind. So on from a user perspective, for the most part, any application that you can basically find inside of the iPhone App Store, you can also find inside of the Google Play Store as well. So there is a lot of overlap here, and it's not like because the iPhone App Store is like the more popular one or whatever like that, you're going to have, you know, better time there, most of the time you're getting all applications on both of them. However, I will say for a lot of these indie developer applications, sometimes you might see them starting off in the Google Play Store and then eventually coming out for the iPhone App Store. This is mostly because, you know, sometimes it's just easier for a lot of these devices to just kind of be started on the iPhone, on the Google Play Store because it is cheaper and overall to kind of start there and then get ported over to the iPhone App Store. And for a lot of international apps, a lot of them can sometimes be found more so on the Google Play Store and being supported there more so than the iPhone app store. But on the flip side, a lot of applications can also start on the iPhone app store like I've seen before and be way more optimized inside of the iPhone ecosystem than the Android ecosystem. We saw this case in point with Snapchat. Snapchat has always been more optimized inside of the iPhone app store and those updates kind of coming around there more so than the Google Play Store. But on the, you know, that's kind of the one thing that's kind of happened over time. So that is just in and of itself kind of a big thing. But that's kind of as a user, I will say you can get updates on both of them. You can download games, you can download applications. Everything is basically the same. You can download movies and so many things from the Google Play Store. The iPhone App Store, you can really only download applications and games from there. There's, you know, ebook, you know, ebooks you can download from the dedicated books application. From the iTunes Store, you can download other stuff too. The Google Play Store, I would say, is kind of like all everything in between. Like you can just download everything from the from the Google Play Store. The iPhone App Store is a little bit different because it's really only dedicated to applications and games. So that right there is like kind of another kind of big thing to keep in mind there too. But I will still say between, you know, for the most part, if you're going through one over the other one, you can still kind of get a very similar type of experience from all of them when it kind of comes down to it. So personally for me, I will say when it kind of comes down to it, there's not really one that's necessarily better from a user perspective. From a developer perspective, if you're trying to go through and just get your game up and ready as fast as possible, the Google Play Store, there's like less of, you know, less hurdles to kind of jump through. From what I've understood, it's an easy approval process. So this in and of itself can be a big thing for you. But if it's not really the biggest deal in the world, you can always start off, you know, developing applications for both. A lot of different, you know, softwares out there are utilized on both of these applications and both of these, you know, app stores. So that right there can be another big thing to keep in mind. Like I said, I I don't think one is necessarily better than the other one. I like the iPhone App Store more because I'm more suited in that platform, but the Google Play Store is still a very, very good app, you know, very good app store, and I like that Play Store for sure. So from that perspective, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.